Hi guys, JP here and uh, for today's session, we are going to talk about RAS or uh, Recirculating Aquaculture System. So, uh, I'll just uh, flip the camera. So, what is a RAS or uh, Recirculating Aquaculture System? So, basically guys, uh, uh, this system is used by fish keepers to maintain a uh, good and healthy water for your uh, fish pond or for your fish tank. And uh, this is to uh, avoid a lot of uh, fish kill in your system. And uh, for my setup, I use a RAS or a recirculating aquaculture system. So how does this RAS um, operates or how does it work? So basically, um, the first thing uh, for uh, just like my setup, uh, I have here a uh, fish tank or a fish pond or uh, this is a uh, trapal setup. So, um, uh, this setup uses a uh, uh, 36 cubic uh, feet um, trapand which houses more than 100 uh, fish or tilapia fish. So, as you can see, my uh, red tilapia is already uh, enjoined with the black because I shut off the uh, other system or the other fish tank. Okay, so going back. Um, in uh, recirculating the uh, water for reuse, uh, we need to uh, know the basic of a RAS or recirculating aquaculture system. So for a RAS setup, you need to have your filters. Okay, you need to have your filters. So what are the functions of the filters? So basically, these are uh, the uh, equipment that helps the water uh, go back to its uh, normal uh, parameters or levels so we have here our mechanical filters or our first is our solid uh, um, separator our um, sponge filter or our mechanical filter the second mechanical filter and we have here our bio filter or biological filtration okay so I'll just open it up so that you will see what are the contents of this um, buckets. So for uh, educational purposes, uh, I opened up all the buckets or the filters for uh, you to see what is happening inside. So first is we have here our um, solid separator or uh, this is my radial flow settler. So from the fish tank or from the fish pond, we have there our solid uh, lifter which is uh, very effective in collecting the waste from the fish pond going to our filters okay so because the purpose of this one is to collect all the necessary solids so that it will not be contained inside the fish pond and uh, will uh, promote a higher fish kill for your uh, fish so as you can see water is being lifted and being um, contained in this first uh, um, bucket which is our radio flow settler so um, solids are being uh, transported here and then the solids are being trapped during the filtration process wherein some of the solids are settled at the bottom of the bucket so as you can see there are a lot of solids there in the bottom of the bucket and uh, uh, as a routine I usually uh, clean or uh, uh, take out the solids every morning so that uh, it will not stay there for long which uh, will affect the uh, quality of the water and so as an evidence of this one this where the solids that I have collected just this morning so look at the uh, the amount of solids that are being collected for just a day so um, after collecting the solids from this bucket the uh, waste or some of the dissolved waste will go into our second bucket which is our um, second mechanical filter and this is composed of the sponges and the nets below okay so water 
will drop here and it will be strained by the sponge so that some of the solids that were um, dissolved in the water will still be filtered and uh, will not go back to your fish pond so um, as the solids uh, breaks down no, it will be filtered by our sponges and then it will go to the second bucket okay so what's the purpose of this mechanical filter so the mechanical filter um, removes uh, the uh, poop or the feces of the fish because these are toxic uh, materials in your water so if uh, um, this uh, feces or fish poop will not be removed it will serve as a toxic or very very toxic in your water and will cause a high turbidity okay so we need to remove them so after the second uh, level or second bucket the clean water or not so clean goes to our third chamber or third bucket which is the biological filter or we call this biofilter so biological filtration happens in this bucket so what are the contents of our biological filter so these are stones and uh, medias which um, houses our what we call beneficial bacteria or good bacteria so what is the purpose of this bacteria so this um, beneficial bacteria usually uh, clean the ammonia which is released from the gills of the fish so this ammonia is toxic to the water when when it goes back to the fish tank and uh, very high ammonia will tend to kill your fish and so we need to uh, um, convert them into a good uh, bacteria or a good uh, um, output which were uh, your um, ammonia re releases nitrates or nitrites I mean sorry so this nitrites is also toxic and uh, the beneficial bacteria converts this nitrites uh, into nitrates so the nitrates will um, be with the water and will go back to the fish tank from the sump tank okay so um, uh, good water or clean water now is being dumped in our sump okay so that it can go back to our fish pond okay so as uh, you can observe my water quality is very uh, uh, clean there are no fish poop below at the bottom of the trapan and um, looking at the fish they are quite uh, satisfied with the quality of the water okay but there are some parameters that uh, we just can't see and we can't uh, recognize uh, because uh, it's not uh, very evident in the system so we need to uh, check from time to time on how to deal with these parameters so as said, uh, that is how my uh, RAS works in my own system. And um, going back to the uh, biological filtration, we have a lot of uh, um, good bacteria which are uh, beneficial in our uh, setup or our RAS. And they, uh, they are uh, being used to um, convert this uh, harmful uh, ammonia into nitrites and uh, convert them into nitrates. So, um, uh, we can be sure that uh, some of the water is being uh, cleaned in the system and um, uh, we can uh, make the water more uh, livable for our fish. But uh, in some uh, cases, uh, um, the water quality is not that good because some of your filters may not be working properly. So, uh, you need to change the setup from time to time to uh, get the right uh, formula in uh, filtering your uh, water and um, for in, in my case uh, I did a lot of uh, setup and uh, trial and error just to uh, get the right um, formula for my uh, filtration setup so as uh, you have uh, seen that was my uh, latest setup for my filtration for my uh, 
fish pond. And um, if uh, we will try to uh, analyze the system, uh, in a daily basis, I uh, do a water change because that is part of the uh, recirculating aquaculture system. And uh, mostly uh, up to 10% of the water is being changed and being dumped. And uh, not to mention the solids that I am uh, collecting because uh, guys, um, we are feeding our fish and so they are also producing feces so if this uh, fish poop will remain in our uh, fish pond it will be uh, the fish will be intoxicated and a very high level of intoxication will kill your fish so that is the thing that we are avoiding so for my uh, own setup i need to make sure that uh, 100 percent of my <laughs> fish will survive in my own culture so um Maybe uh, in your case, uh, you can also uh, do the same as just what I'm doing, the uh, RAS or uh, uh, recirculating aquaculture system. But um, what would be the uh, outcome or the output of this type of uh, system? So number one is that uh, there will be a lot of waste of water because five to ten percent of the water is being uh, dumped every day and so uh, uh, according to my setup uh, I dump almost uh, three to four buckets of water every day and change it into a uh, new uh, dechlorinated water so it becomes a more challenging in my part and um, the water that is being thrown away becomes a waste so what will be one of the remedy for this um, dilemma? So as what I have um, uh, research, all I need to add is a, an aquaculture or sorry, a, a, a hydroponics. Okay. So meaning to say hydroponics and RAS will be mixed together to produce a new system which is what we call aquaponics so um, later on I will um, do a an aquaponic setup so that I can show you and uh, I think uh, in that time uh, I will be uh, saving a lot of water for my system since I have a bigger tank and uh, um, uh, I will be saving a lot of money from uh, paying my water bill okay so uh, that's it and uh, I hope to see you on my next uh, video if you if you are not yet subscribed in this uh, channel please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that uh, you will be updated for the new videos and uh, I hope you learned something out of this video so thank you guys and don't forget to like this video Bye.